Hi, I'm Levi with Pride and Gaiety. Cooper, first questions for you. Eric's trauma from his father's abuse is really central to understanding why the brothers acted as they did. From what you've learned, do you think that the level of abuse could ever truly justify their actions? And, and how does this change the way we view trauma and the aftermath of it? Yeah, I think that... Uh... No, it does not justify them murdering their parents. I don't think that anything justifies killing someone. Um, I do think, though, that things have changed in the past 35 years and that we're more open to understanding victims of abuse and hearing them and believing them. And so I think we're having this story so that people understand that instead of choosing violence, they can and should go to somebody for help and talk about their their experiences and, and what's happening to them so that we can avoid violence and we can get people the help that they need. Shh, I love you. I love you. I love you too. Okay. It's up to us now, right? And they would be proud of us. They would be proud of us. What did you say yesterday? What did you say to me? Tell me. Uh, that I think that they would be proud of us. And Nicholas, the question I have for you is, as the older brother, um, kind of taking on this protective role over Eric, how do you believe that their bond shaped their decisions leading up to the murders? And does this story challenge the idea of victim victimhood versus culpability? Hmm. It's a really interesting question. I think Lyle certainly felt protective of his younger brother. Um, and they were also the only people in the entire world who knew what the other person had been through. Um, both of them were sexually abused by their father. Um, it's really dark stuff. Um, and then I think that uh, Lyle uh, felt a, a very strong urge to protect his younger brother and um, I think that it's difficult to understand their relationship without understanding the profound amount of love and care that likely existed between the two of them. And, um, yeah. I'm going to open this question up to both of you and start with you, Cooper. Um, obviously the show's had now a lot of media attention because the actual Menendez brothers have spoken out about it. How do you feel that the homoeroticism that is portrayed, and obviously it's a, it, Ryan Murphy has a, this is kind of his thing, right? Like, how do you feel like those elements helped the story and helped helped audiences really experience what the two brothers went through? Um, I don't know if it has much to do with what they went through. And I'm not sure if you're referencing Eric's, uh, Eric stuff or the incestuous stuff. But I can speak on the incestuous stuff and just say that at the time, there were a lot of different theories about the brothers um, from a lot of different people and a lot of different perspectives. And this theory happened to be Dominic Dunn's um, perspective. And he was a character in the show. And, uh, you know, I think it's getting a lot of backlash because people are, are taking it out of context when, you know, if they really watch the scene, there's a moment where after this conversation happens, where he shares this theory, he's sitting with all of his friends and then it cuts to a shot from behind him. All the friends are gone. It's dark. The candles are lit, which I think for me reads as his theory is whack. So I think it's really trying to tell the audience actually that that theory is bonkers. Um, and in terms of Eric's, um, Eric stuff, for example, the shower scene or his relationship with the boy that he mentions in episode five, you know, I think those are examples of uh, traumatic reenactment, which is something that happens to trauma victims. They try and go and reenact the things that they've been through to try and heal and cope with it. And so I think those things are actually there to further support the theory that the sexual abuse that happened was true and it did happen. And so I think that sort of further should actually help tell the story and help support the brothers in, in sympathizing with them. Do you have anything to add? No, I think that that was well put. Thank you very, very much. I'm running out of time, but I really appreciate you both. And I thought the show was great. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thank you.